Good morning. Today is Sunday, March 29th, 2020, and it's about uh, 1230 uh, here in uh, 1230 p.m. here in Pasadena, California. I know uh, everybody's uh, really busy, uh, you know, rearranging their lives, so I'll try to get through this pretty quickly. Um, first things first, um, this, this is really important. Keep your hands really clean. I'm sure you're hearing that 10,000 times a day, but um, after some teleconferences, there were uh, four, uh, I'm sorry, four Zoom video conferences last week. Um, Jeff Hazlett had some guests on, including people from uh, inside the administration, talking about the condition, um, the, the real uh, hard facts, and uh, some things I learned from that, which you've heard, um, confirm that it's really pretty simple. And as far, uh, and, you know, as far as keeping your hands clean, regular soap actually destroys it. Um, it's good to use alcohol. Hydrogen peroxide also destroys it. Um, but yeah, keep your hands clean and keep them away from your face. That's really the main thing. And of course, uh, keeping away from anybody that's a known infection. But that's a bit of a problem until the testing protocols and uh, availability is uh, widespread, which isn't the current case. So um, that's that. Uh, Platinum Seal 2020 uh, we received for New Sports Economy Institute. Um, so that's in the uh, uh, updated on the website. Um, this is not in any particular order. I'm just going to go through this stuff. Uh, from my notes uh, just taken down this morning. So no New York betting uh, or no New York mobile. Uh, it's not going to happen. Obviously now not much of anything is going to happen because there's no sports games being played of any significance and uh, at least none that are, you know, major leagues. And there's certainly no gambling. Uh, Vegas is shut down. So uh, the, the dream of trying to get New York mobile up, yeah, that first of all, it wasn't going to happen. Cuomo's against it 100%. But um, yeah, it's a dead dog uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, the LinkedIn, ClickedIn metrics are up in every category. Um, I am getting a request from all over the world. I got one gentleman who contacted me, and um, he's actually a, a, the director of a, group, a commission over a bunch of teams uh, over in Europe. And when I asked him, you know, what he was looking for. He said he needed financing for literally hundreds of teams. Uh, that shouldn't come as any surprise. Um, I mean, that should be pretty obvious given the circumstances, the news wires every single day reporting. Um, I just saw a piece this morning about the uh, uh, Balmer, I think, uh, not Balmer, yeah, Balmer's basketball team. Anyway, tens of millions of dollars being lost um, literally by the weeks, you know, as weeks go by. So, um, I also got a, a, a connection to the FIFA director um, of competition, a director of competition at FIFA contacted me, uh, said they're not interested right now, but we'll see about that uh, as time moves on. So um, interestingly, about the same time, within a couple of hours, um, I received a, a, a message from a gentleman who's a, a soccer player in UK. So the, uh, the FIFA director uh, who is in Switzerland and the UK soccer um, uh, guy contacted me within two hours of each other. One, the, the player looking for a league. <laughs> so you know, asking me if I could help him uh, find a league to play in. So that, that's fascinating. So you really, um, we're walking into a moment here that I, I mean, it still makes my head spin around seeing what's going on here. Uh, so here's the reports. Here's some of the statistics. Uh, I've been doing marketing for about 25 years uh, online, uh, back to pretty much when it, the internet was a thing, um, you know, really started seeing business done back in 1995. So I've seen a lot of marketing tools. I've seen a lot of statistics. Uh, I've dealt in direct response marketing and um, had a really amazing tutor with Gary Halbert, by the way, if you want some really good information, Google Gary Halbert. And, uh, his sons are now in charge of all that. And no, I don't get anything for it, but that's who I learned from just so you know. Uh, and the the rates, um, a response, a, a great response rate, like a super response rate to a, uh, to a cold list, you know, this means people that you've never contacted before, is like 5%. If it's your house list, meaning people that you know, 10, 15% uh, is pretty good. So when you market to strangers, generally, you're going to be in one to two to 3%. So um, I segmented all of the leads on, on clicked in by different categories to try to see where the interest was. And um, the development and investment segment 
of the search, uh, the, the lead um, sub, you know, the segment uh, is, and this is no, you'll see uh, in the uh, in the body of the email, I've, I've got a screenshot. I, I captured it in, in the 70% range, but it was actually at 86% this morning. When I looked at it the first time, I did a double take. So, um, so I'm getting an 86% response rate on the on the on the connection request in LinkedIn, which then um, creates a, a short sequence of responses, and then those people start writing me through LinkedIn Messenger. 86% is just, I mean, the highest I've ever seen, and this was on a house list, meaning um, it would be people that already knew who we were. The highest of any program I've ever managed was 30%, it's about 30 in the in the mid 30s. That's as high as I've ever seen to a house list, to a cold list, people that had never heard, um, five, six, seven percent. I don't remember any campaigns online or offline that they went over that. So it's astounding to reach out to strangers and get an 86 percent response rate. So especially develop, development and, and investment <laughs> particularly. So this is really, really going extraordinarily well, way, way beyond anything I could could have imagined. But that's mainly because we're we were setting all this up, and then this moment happened, and we kind of walked walked into that moment. I was going to set this up regardless, and then when I turned it on, the the coronavirus thing really took off and tore everything down and and stopped the the sports industry and, and the gambling industry. Uh, so yeah, I didn't have anything to do with that, but you know the benefits are accruing to us without any question. Um, 1,286 uh, LinkedIn connections so far. Um, and again, that includes people like uh, Bill Daly from the NHL and this gentleman from, who's literally the director of international competition at FIFA. Um, I have 525 active leads, uh, many, many conversations now. Uh, I didn't count them this morning, but 525 leads, that's full data cards, that's uh, names, addresses, email addresses, phone numbers of all these people from LinkedIn. It's just an, an, an astounding outcome. So um, what's going to happen there, as I said before, is um, uh, the, part of the team is working on the, the, law, the, the protocols to list your team for trading, including uh, uh, you know, the legal side of that, and then also the um, intake process, because I need to feed these people into, a, um, into an intake process. So uh, next step is uh, the, the completion of the, of the um, the, the summary video, because I, that's the next uh, piece in line here. Um, and I go back to these 500, what's well, going to be more than 525 by April 15th, which is my deadline, self-imposed deadline to respond. That's what I've told the people that have asked me when they were going to get the next thing. So April 15th, tax, it's not tax day now, but it was tax day. Um, I'm going to deliver the video. I'm just going to drop the video in there uh, in, in, and send it to all the leads. So if I did that today, it would go to 525 people. And then it's going to um, kind of sum it all up, and uh, it'll be an evergreen. It's not going to be um, it's not going to be focused on 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 the corona situation. It's going to be a general um, piece that will live forever, basically. And then at the end of that, I'll put an in card on it, and that in card will land people on the intake system that um, the team's working on. So that's where that stands. Um, yeah, and and listen. The, I, I in the in the in the video conferences from last week, and those of you that got the first briefing package know this because you can see it because um, the the Zoom replays in there. You know the the people that, that we're getting on these calls. J Jeff Hazlett is a, is a very well connected man, and uh, he's bringing in people from inside the administration. He's bringing in experts from all around the world, and you know I had one video conference uh, where we had 200 people on it. Uh, 200, you know, video, 200 people on video conference. I, I've never, this is the first time I've really gotten into Zoom. So um, the point is, is that the consensus uh, among all the experts is, is you really do not expect, it is not going to happen that, that we are out of this in 60 days. Um, it's just not going to happen. Uh, I'm telling you straight up, this video is going to live forever out on, on YouTube. I'm telling you right now, the politics is wrong if, if you're thinking anything else. It's absolutely dead wrong. If you're not preparing for 60 days of uh, a hard lockdown and, and things are going to be very squirrely, then you're, you're, you're making a mistake. Okay? Um, it's not going to, it's going to rub some people the wrong way, but my job is to report the facts. Okay? It's not to spin things. It's not to get involved in that. I'm telling you that from this, this hours and hours of, of video conferences from people all over the world, 
if you're not planning for 60 days of shutdown, you're fooled because that's what's going to happen. If it's not more than that, that's if we start doing the right thing right now, which we're not doing. Um, so all that being said, it's an opportunity. It's a huge opportunity. Um, you know, it's, it's basically the whole society and economy is going to get reset. Nobody knows what exactly that looks like on the other side. Some obvious things are going to be, um, you know, the explosion of online collaboration tools and anything connected to that. Shipping, of course, and, and logistics are just going to continue to grow like crazy because everybody's going to ship everything because they can't leave their houses for a while. And then they're going to stay that way. They're going to keep, keep that way. Um, so use it to, uh, you know, renegotiate. I mean, look, everybody's in the same boat, you know, um, you know, we're down to buying food and water and, you know, basic things. And everybody's trying to uh, determine where their incomes and outflows are. And that that's everyone from you and me uh, personally to I, I talk to directors of companies that did hundred, do hundreds of millions of dollars on these calls. Um, you know, and some of them have had their businesses, the hundred million guys know, but the tens of millions of guys, uh, dollar volume guys, some of them have their business practically overnight turned to zero. So, um, you know, uh, what Hazlett said is, look, you know, what you need to focus on right now is get your house in order. Take this as an opportunity to reassess all of your inputs and outputs, prioritize, you know, uh, expenses in terms of rents and all that and evictions. Nobody's going to throw anybody out of anywhere. So, you know, you're not going to deal, deal with that. that. There's going to be hard freezes on that stuff. So take it as an opportunity to just, you know, when do you get a 60 day break to actually take a look at everything and, and, you know, I mean, right down to your credit card statements and small charges. I mean, Jeff was even saying, again, when I say Jeff, I mean, Jeff Hazlett, he's like, you know, I'm just going through my bills and like $30 charge for this $20 monthly charge for that. So he's even doing that. So 60 days. Okay. Now he's very, very clear that this is, you know, there is a reset. There is going to be an other side. There is, you know, there's going to be something on the other side. This, this is not, uh, you know, uh, Jeff has done hundreds of, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of business transactions. I don't remember the total transaction volume, but it's, it's in the billions. And he's been, you know, he's also been in very bad situations like hostage employees being shot, you know, bomb things being blown up, you know, I mean, remember he's from New York. Uh, I, I didn't get, we didn't get into that. I don't, I don't know what his stories are, but he's just like, I've been through a lot of crisis, not just, uh, you know, financial crashes, but literally physical things that have happened. So, um, he said there, there is another, there is another side. There is, you know, so, so the, the deal now is to plan for that. So on, a, on your, in your business and all of that, look for where the opportunities are going to be because they're, they're there. They're there right now. Um, the chaos will, will settle at some point. It's not going to settle in 60 days. And it's probably, frankly, the rest of this year is going to be very strange. And no, nobody really can get a handle around that because there's too much flux in all of it. But I think as a planning tool, um, 60 to 90 days of really, um, you know, very tense, difficult circumstances and a lot of uncertainty followed by um, a stabilization that will start and then but but the balance of the year I think is going to be um, it's not going to look like it did before there there is no going back to the way it was there's this is a dividing line there's going to be a new normal um, after this so uh, next week's um, events so there are calls, multiple calls. I'm getting invited to a lot of them, a lot of uh, video conferences, and I'm joining the, all the ones that I have have time for. Um, it just it's a good idea. These are all coming from Hero Club people and people connected to the Hero Club. So next week's uh, big one is going to be a, a live uh, video conference with the governor here, Governor Newsom. Um, as far as I know, I mean it's it's part of the invitation schedule, so I expect I'll be on that one as well which, uh, you know, I don't know what the protocols are in terms of what we're going to be, uh, if we're going to open a discussion or if Jeff, Jeff's going to talk to him and we'll take, he'll, he'll direct um, Gavin to, to questions. But uh, it's going to go live to 600,000 people. Uh, I have a segment on Friday in the, uh, in the what, they, what they're calling the Hero Club huddle, where I'm going to discuss the impact that this is having on, on sports. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's a it's the moment to talk about that uh, and I don't have to like press the issue because this is what people want to hear about so this is really going to be the first time to give uh, it's gonna be five minutes uh, I'll, I'll I can give a briefing essentially 
which um, will open the, you know, will open people's minds to, to what we're doing. Every time I, you know, the last two of these uh, hero huddles we've done, uh, I get new contacts and people adding me from LinkedIn and asking me questions and stuff. So, um, but I haven't really got into what we do. I've just been kind of contributing to the general conversation, but this coming Friday uh, is going to be our turn to, to kind of give a perspective. So that's really important. Um, and then the people who are part of the program, which means, here's what that means. It means if you've contributed to anything, any funding related program since Christmas uh, forward. So for any amount, doesn't matter what it is, any amount from, uh, from December 25, 20, uh, 2019 until the present and forward, um, if, you're, if you have helped or helped any uh, or participate in any way in anything we send out, then I will include you on the list and then you will start getting these uh, Saturday. Um, so here's the protocol, the, the hero huddles on Friday. So what I do is I compile all of that because it's a resource um, for everyone. It's, it's, the, it's the latest thinking with, with, with other thought leaders and people in government on not just the coronavirus itself, but all these economic impacts and strategies and stuff to rebuild your businesses and your personal lives. So it's extremely valuable. I've already sent the first one out and um, it just feels fair to me that I pass that along as a package, which I'm calling the sports, the sports vote briefing. I did number one yesterday, so the next one will go out next um, uh, Saturday. So Friday is when I do, do the call video conference, and then you get a copy of that archive too. You get a copy of that video conference along with all the documents and links and everything that we're given. Um, right now it's kind of raw and it's just cut and paste and here's that, but it's being compiled into a consolidated, uh, updated resource page, and that will be made available to uh, people that um, help uh, or that are part of our program. It just it's a flow through. I, I feel it's only fair that this is value we're getting from the Hero Club, um, and I should pass it along to people who uh, who help us stay alive, just like we're helping them stay alive. We're not, uh, you know, we're suspended on dues and all that right now. Um, you know, that's been that way for the last um, five or six months. Um, but I'm doing all that I can to help them, uh, you know build content and provide valuable information to their network. So anyway, that's how that goes. Uh, so Gavin, yeah, on Friday, um, and Jeff, I'm, I'm sorry, Gavin's not going to be on, it may be on Friday, but it's, it, I'm, I don't know the date yet, sometime next next week. My, my segment on the Hero Hub Huddle is in the Friday's um, Hero Huddle. So uh, this is really the time for the Hero Club to show what they've got and, and to be what they've claimed to be, which is business first responders and heroes and all that. Is a, um, they're using the hashtag, so I'm going to start, you're going to see this uh, coming up, Drive and Thrive. Um, that's, that's the hashtag they're using. So lots of discussion about online education, obviously. Um, the real sticker right now, the real pain point is accountability and also somewhat cultural because people are shocked by this all of a sudden work and home are no longer separated and all that. Lots and lots of discussion on how to deal with all that psychological things, you know, family issues. Uh, it's a big thing. You know, um, I've been doing this for 20 years. Um, even when we have offices and places, I, I just prefer working from home because it's quiet and I need the quiet, but uh, that's not normal for most people. So there's an adjustment and, and there's a lot of discussion about how to manage all that. Um, there's tons of, uh, this was brought up by uh, one of the VCs that I've actually got to know pretty well uh, that, you know, from Hero Club. And he's like, look, there's a ton of VC money on the sidelines right now. There are a bunch of deals that we we're going into before this started, this uh, Corona thing started, and they've all been pulled. So the capital's there, but everybody's uh, on pause. You know, people are not making big decisions about that right now. So the cash is on the sidelines but it's looking for somewhere to go. Okay, so uh, again, our priority is to get the league deal, okay? That's the, that's the farming process. That's the keys to unlocking everything, including the financing. When, that's, when I've got that, uh, when I, we get those orders in hand, then I can go to this gentleman because he's, he's, he's close to me now. I've, I've spent a lot of time with him, and uh, we can go through this again and see if, if we can uh, get some funds, VC funds from inside the club. Um, I feel pretty, especially now, given the fact that a lot of these deals got iced and 
the pros proposition of a sports investing investment uh, is going to get hurt out. But I don't want to do it before we get uh, a deal or two or however many we can in, in the queue to, get, to show orders because that's what the VCs are going to want to see. Um, we talked about that before. Uh, that's the criteria. So um, some, got, some ideas. Um, Jeff says this is the best time in the world to start a podcast or a YouTube channel uh, uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, this is um, this is something that we're going to be doing. I'm looking at the I, I'm unfamiliar with podcasting formats and stuff. So he says best length is 22 to 27 minutes for a for a business podcast for obvious reasons. You want to be able to insert commercial breaks in there. And um, here's a really good idea, very very good, and you can use this for your own businesses and such. Uh, just interview your future customers. You know. Call people on your podcast. In our case, this would be like the lead prospects. So imagine we send out to the leads uh, 500 and something. It's going to be a lot more than that. This, this thing is going to just grow and grow and grow. As long as the farm is running, it's going to grow and grow. So imagine I now can send out invites to all these leads and invite them onto a podcast or onto a video conference. <laughs> I mean, that's incredible, right? So your future customers, you bring them in as guests. Excellent idea. Um, the LinkedIn company page is set up for all sports market, so you'll begin to see uh, company-specific only postings will start taking place there. Um, so that that link is also in the in the text here. Um, we're looking into the uh, educational program. LinkedIn has an integrated educational program, which I'm not familiar with uh, at the moment, but uh, I think that's something we need to investigate. Um, it's not a replacement for um, the uh, I, uh, Apple Apple's uh, iTunes University, but on a corporate level, it may be you know this is not adding unnecessary work right now. But I I I see that it's a very robust uh, integrated system there, and we should look at how to uh, to use that for ASM. Probably the first thing that makes sense to me is that we would create some maybe some kind of a short course that is. Uh, uh, directed towards the, the the corporate context, the league, you know, basically the farming, and and this just literally came to mind as I'm saying this out loud. But it, it might it might be smart that that's where the first video goes. Um, the 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 one I'm talking about due on April 15th. If we can integrate that into say module number one on the in LinkedIn educational system, that may be the place for that. Come to think of it, um, I'm going to look into that. Uh, that, that seems to make more sense than just like a raw YouTube landing page if it's if it's uh, integrated into the LinkedIn educational system, but the corporate educational system, right, rather than the retail, which would be iTunes uh, University for the public. So um, future working group uh, conferences will be video conferences from now on. So when you get the archives, you're, um, when we're done with the video conferences that we hold, you're going to get a copy of the video conference instead of an audio. Bitcoin selling is exceeding the mining. That's going to be very interesting to watch because if this continues, it's going to spiral the market down um, in a death spiral. Courts are shut. Uh, I verified that on state and federal. Uh, every you know, there's not going to be any action on uh, anything in the federal or state courts of any significance for at least 60 days. Actually, some are already pushing out to 90 days. Uh, only things that are absolute emergencies and, and on, the, on the criminal side uh, are going to get any attention. And then once that lifts, they're going to be so clogged up. And I've already looked through the orders from the various courts there, that would affect anything we're involved in. They're going to be so tangled up with backlogs that they've got to prioritize all of the other cases and determine which ones get taken first in terms of priority and emergency and all that. So uh, no SEC is, nothing is going to come out of that. Um, oh, first, it's been dead four months, going on four months, but definitely not going to happen now. Um, the, there's no way in the world they're going to get to this in the middle of this because the court orders are already out to, to not move. Because um, you can't even go in the courthouse so, for 60 days. <laughs> so that makes it a little difficult to do things, um, you know, when you have hearings and such. Uh, there are going to be policy changes um, on on how nonprofit, they're lifting limits on things. So 
um, that will that will affect um, our fundraising. You know, the limits will be raised. They want to encourage contributions to nonprofits, uh, which makes sense. So I don't know those I don't know those details yet. When I do, um, that's stuff that goes in the briefing to people that are part of any of the programs. We're going to look into the nonprofit. Uh, there is an SBA nonprofit uh, loan program, so I think that's probably smart uh, that we do the same thing and see if we can access some of those funds to give us some buffer for this uh, transition period. So I'm looking into that. Um, Vegas rushed into esports for obvious reasons because there's nothing going on. Um, lots of problems with this. Lots and lots of problems with this on a legal level. Um, it's really kind of an untested, uncharted world there. And I would say that you're, you can start the scandal clock. Um, I think you're going to see a quicker, um, a quicker jump to some sort of a scandal in this than anything else because the, the, the conditions, the ec ecosystem surrounding esports just is rife with manipulation possibilities and no, no monitoring of any sort. And uh, you're going to hear it won't take long. <laughs> start the scandal clock right now. It isn't going to take long. Um, we're going to beat them on that too. Uh, as I said, Alper is fine with esports. Uh, it's a huge marketplace. We have a lot of good contacts in the lead list. I have lots of contacts that are esports uh, related. So we sent out a survey to try to get a handle around what um, what's out there and who, what the level of interest is. And so far, so good. I've already got uh, 97 uh, responses so far. Yeah, 97 responses so far on the survey. So please do submit that if you're um, I'll drop the link in here if you uh, have any opinions on that. Uh, we're looking to see if we can get data feeds on the esports and, and maybe put up a test trading on, uh, on the platform to see how it goes. I think we need to test it if we're going to uh, list it. Obviously, we, we have the big four uh, plus the two college, college uh, sides of things on, on ASM itself, and we have had that up for more than four years and more than five years on the free market side. Uh, so we need to do some testing, right? Um, so I, I've asked ACE to contact a data provider and see if we can get some esports um, uh, scores and feeds based upon um, what people, you know, then I'll match that, of course, to, to the interest level and see what we can list. You know, uh, we need to test it out. So, so far, the results on the survey is most people do want us to, to list it. Um, and they, they've listed out the ones that they want listed. I'll put that uh, report up also. I'll put that live link to the results right next to the survey input so you can look at it as it uh, as the surveys come in. Uh, airlines are dead. Uh, I think we'll be lucky to have one of them left after this is all over with. Looking at the initial um, package, the, uh, the airlines are, are way, way underfunded in these packages and the word is already on the street that, uh, we're, that they're not going to save the airlines. That, that's just, it's not going to be a bailout. Uh, so that's uh, it's going to be really uh, it's going to be really tough. Um, I saw a shocking sort story. I thought it was a misprint uh, that Canadian some Canadian crude is selling at five dollars a barrel and actually going to negative. And as I dug a little deeper, listen to this negative negative oil prices. <laughs> I mean negative oil prices. I just. I mean, I, saying that out loud, it, it, it's incomprehensible. I mean, I remember $100 oil not too long ago. So that's the end of Houston, if that's the case. Um, and there is, there, is, um, there is already negative um, trading on like 28 cents. If you, there's a Bloomberg story, uh, negative 28 cents a, a barrel. <laughs> wow. Okay. So the, uh, the sports vote briefing number one, like I said, went out yesterday. And it included um, it included um, Phil Collins's wife Orianne was on on the video conference talking about her. Um, she has an, an incredible story of her own. Uh, if you if you want to um, be inspired, uh, just Google her name Orianne Collins. Um, really incredible comeback story for, for this, this this lady. And and she's Phil Collins's wife. So um, so she was uh, on the video conference and uh, explaining how she has uh, some salons or some studios rather and I think some salons I'm not totally sure uh, but of course everything is shut right so she's dealing also with the problems of that um, you know how do you put your business back together when you can't have any people walk into a store you know into your to your shops 
Okay, so uh, that's all. Um, stay safe out there. Try not to, you know, panic. We, you know, I know this is a this is a very strange time, but if you look at the history books, um, these things have happened. It's just it's been a hundred years since we've seen anything quite like this. Certainly, um, not nothing in the modern age like this. But uh, we're a resilient bunch here, and you know, I'm not talking about this house or the business, or you know, I'm talking about in general, uh, you know, the American uh, spirit and, and, and economy, and, and it's it's a strong system. But it's 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 going through some kind of a reset here um, for sure, and it's it's a hard reset. It's it's going to be, you know. What comes out of the other end, no, nobody really knows right now, but it's it's going to be different, and it's going to be permanently different. Uh, so uh, stay safe out there. Remember, this is really important. And uh, I'll speak with you again on the next video update. I'm going to do these like I think it makes sense to do Friday because I collect all the information from Friday, pass it on uh, on Saturday to the, pro to the program members, and then Sunday for general disclosure to everybody else. That seems to work out. So that, I'm going to stick with that uh, schedule. So stay safe out there, and uh, I will speak with you again uh, next Sunday. Bye now.